Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, we will learn how a user can create their own formats. As we have already covered uh, what are formats in SAS and why we use this. So today we will learn why a user needs to create a format and what are the situation where you can use it, right? So as we already know, the format is basically to represent the data the way you want and. Uh, uh, most precisely, uh, we use format and in format to read and uh, write uh, non-standard data in SAS uh, when, when we actually want uh, to read a numerical kind of a data in SAS and uh, you know there are challenges while reading it just, just because of uh, a few or some special characters in between so we would actually take the help of uh, in formats uh, to read the data so for better understanding uh, i advise you to go through the formats and in formats uh, video which uh, we have already worked on and now today we will learn uh, how user can create uh, their own uh, formats so let's start so format uh, is basically in this case is this is a procedure so i'm gonna write a procedure and a format so uh, this is a proc format and after that I'll specify the value so value is uh, the way of defining um, uh, format after this I'll give a format name which is it could be anything so let's understand first why we need to create a format uh, for that I have already taken a small data set which is EMP where I'm thinking of uh, hiding this salary part I don't want to show this salary to anybody else and I want to give a range or uh, some salary code on this uh, without losing the originality of this uh, data so I want to hide this salary part by applying some uh, format on it so value and one more thing here to understand uh, what kind of format I wanna create for which like this is a numerical variable uh, the type of the salary is numeric so I'm gonna create a numeric uh, format and if I'll create on some character formats like this or I may choose just this so in that case we have to create a character format so I'll show you how to create a numeric and a character format and what is the basic uh, difference in this so value and the name of uh, the format what I'm gonna create by the name we will be calling it off so let's say salary grade now we have to understand the data so while I have a salary this is a, a kind of a continuous data I, I do not have any control of the range it could be anything I really don't know the lower and the upper bounds so what I'll do here I'll use the keywords low and high so under this range I'm gonna put everything in between so what I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'm making a slab, let's say, low to 1500. And for this, I'm going to give a grade, let's say, um, C. And 15, 0, 1, 2, any range of your choice, let's say 3500. I'm gonna give it B and 3501 to high I will give it to grade A now this is the way of creating a format where I'm creating a new format by the name of salary grade so let me run this and if I'll show you uh, going back in my library which is work so if you can see I have uh, created you can see a kind of a catalog here where you can see uh, the format is uh, format has been created by the name of cell grade so let me show you now this is what the format we have created so the starting rate starting is low and the end is 500 and I labeled it C so this is just an idea how you did it 1501 up to 35 is a B 35 to high it's a A right so let's go back and apply this format on your data set 
and it, this is not only something that you can apply on a kind of a particular data set you can apply this format anywhere else but you have to be sure whether this is going to be logical in that case or not so we are going to apply on this parameter which is salary in our case though we have created it f uh, created for this only so what we will do let me show you in an output procurement data equal to sitting in sm library by the name of emp and uh, i'm gonna apply format which is cell grade and we will apply on salary now see this we have uh, we, ha we we actually recorded it we have these grades instead of the salary so let's compare with the data set now for example uh, we have 2450 5000 so 2450 is b that's mean uh, it's coming under this range and when we're talking about this case which is a is coming under this threshold uh, which is 5000 i believe yeah and for this 1250 which is 7521 this is c and c is up to 1500 and 7521 was 1250 right so this is how uh, we smartly created a format and we applied it also and if you really want to uh, apply this on a main data set so how can we do this so just take a look uh, i'm gonna create a new data set a replica of uh, the emp table as i don't want to disturb that table so what i'll do data let's say emp and set sm dot emp and format on a salary which is cell grade and just run it now go to your work library which is emp is there now you can see the salary has been turned to these codes these grades so no more you could able to see your salary so be sure how you gonna and where you gonna apply the uh, format if i'll show you proc con contents data equal to your uh, emp so you can actually see uh, we are using a format which is cell grade right for uh, salary variable on salary variable So let's create another format for a character variable and see how we're gonna use it. So proc format and value. So every time we are going to use a value is just because we are defining a value to our format. So this time we will use uh, dollars. So this is what it will make a difference uh, between uh, your numeric uh, format and a character format. So uh, dollar and the name of your format let it be for uh, job so uh, you can give any name to your format let's say j j great or let's say title and let me pick few of it manager So be sure how the data is uh, in your manager. Give any name of your choice. Uh, let's say operations. And you have, let's say clock. let it be housekeeping uh -oh. my 
caps is on and uh, we have let's say salesman or analyst let's a salesman let them from uh, marketing team marketing now we have created another format by the name of a title go back and check the library which is salary grade and title so clock this is the starting and end that's when i defined just a value of one thing so housekeeping is there operations for managers and marketing for salesman right i'm going to apply this on my data set proc print data equal to sm dot emp and the format is title uh sorry this should be on job and we have to specify a dollar here is just because this is a character format and uh, don't forget to put a dot that actually makes a difference between a uh, format and a variable name so if you can see operations and housekeeping and uh, marketing yeah so we have successfully applied uh, the format on this one and let's apply cell cell grade as we have already created one so now we have uh, format for salary also in a same uh, on a same time right so this is how we can create the formats uh, for both numeric and character and this is very simple you can store these formats and can reuse for other data sets we will explore more on this in our uh, upcoming lecture where we will see how we can create uh, in format also so this is how we created the formats likewise we can create the in formats also and also we will learn how to store them for further use right so this is independent to any data set like wherever you think you can apply this and can use it so i hope you understood this session of uh, creating formats let's see you in next lecture thank you very much